Greetings once again to the ministry internship students here at Regent University School of Divinity. This is your instructor, Dr. Larry Asplund, coming to you. Can you believe it? To welcome you to week 13 here in the spring semester. There are only 15 weeks in the spring semester, so we are racing toward the finish line <clears throat> at this point in time. So I wanted to be able to stop by. I consider week 13 to be a key kind of a moment in our internship experience and be able to give you a sense again of where we are and, and how we're going to finish strongly uh, in your internship. First of all, you remember there are some final reports, of course, coming up at the end of the semester. Final evaluation is just when you see you've completed all 200 hours of your internship experience and, you know, download the report form, get together with your field supervisor and fill it out together and and hopefully just have a great kind of concluding conversation. I've already uh, completed final evaluations for some of the students since it's not based on a date, but rather when you complete your 200 hours, you will turn it in then along with the time log uh, at the end of your experience and then your journal. So you will, some of you have been, of course, uh, submitting journal entries all along on Blackboard. I see them coming, of course. I won't read and grade your journal until I have received your final evaluation and your time log. So it will be there at the end as well. Remember, the only actual firm hard due date we have is April the 29th, which is the official last day of the fall semester. Uh, so I'm not able to receive additional assignments past 11.59 p.m. on April the 29th. And so you will want to keep that date in front of you. Uh, in the process, I'm going to do what I call an end of semester review. That is to say, I'm going to look at our, our grade center and I'm going to see what, what it looks like you may be missing in terms of assignments. You know, there are a lot of little early assignments. It's easy once you get rolling and you see the finish line up ahead to kind of forget occasionally, sometimes just to forget one of those early assignments. And so I will be looking at the grade center and I will send you an email message saying, you know, according to what I see in the grade center, do you agree? So my, my purpose is simply to enable you to review where you are and maybe what is needed to be completed in order to finally get a, you know, a passing grade. As you know, this is a pass, no pass class. So for me to report a P for you simply means that you have, you've completed everything that's a part of your internship experience. Now, I think it's important for you to know that the internship automatically rolls over into a second semester. And so if you're not able to complete everything by the end of the first, this first, the spring semester, then you don't have to do anything. You don't have to re-enroll. You don't have to pay any more money. And as a matter of fact, of the registrar simply, I, I will report an IP, which means in progress, and will just automatically assume that you're still doing your internship and we'll wait as long as another a, a, an entirely second semester if necessary to complete your your internship activities now if you end up having to do that i will need to hear from you when you complete your assignments in that second semester because i'm not i'm not back in this blackboard show and so when you complete those assignments if you will let me know uh, just recently there was a good intern who had completed assignments and, and then didn't let me know, so I didn't know. I'm not looking back at old old blackboard shells. And uh, it, there was an issue of whether or not he's going to be able to graduate. I said, well, no, let's let's go back and look. Let's see if we can figure it out. So it's a very simple thing just to remember if you're in a second semester to send me an email message when you have completed your work, and I will go back in and grade and report a final grade for you. So it's pretty easy to get that to happen. You don't have to do anything. It will happen automatically. But you know, I think it's best, of course, to take advantage of this this spring semester to do uh, your all of your uh, internship activities, or as much as you possibly can. You know, I love the internship. I think it's one of the very best summative experiences 
especially for master's uh, students, especially for master for MDiv students. I think it's just a wonderful opportunity to uh, put into practice some of the things you have been learning. And so your fruitfulness in your internship experience, you know, some of it has maybe been great, some of it not so great. But if you had a good heart going into it, you wanted to serve, make a difference, I'm sure you've been a blessing. And so I'm certainly looking forward to reading your final reports. I'm looking forward to reading your journal entries. Of course, if you have any questions along the way, please let me know. It is my joy and my honor to serve you and to participate in your internship this semester. So God bless you, everybody. Just have a wonderful, wonderful week.